Oh, hi, hello. How's it going, y'all? I've just been vibing in the police station with, uh, you know, you know, the cute police officer lady. She's just, she's just here. <laughs> look, look, look. Did I, did I Google M.E.O. cute policewoman to find this image? Yes. But did I actually find it through that search? No. It was just a bunch of AI-generated images, which makes me a little sad. But, like, I found it eventually. <laughs> I found it eventually. Uh, what were we even doing? Uh, from what I remember, uh, we haven't played MEO since, like, before TwitchCon, and I apologize, first and foremost, to uh, everybody watching on YouTube and whatnot. Uh, it's finally back. Uh, we had a little detour because Echoes of Wisdom came out, and uh, I wanted to finish some other games. And, uh, it is now the middle of October, past the middle of October, and only now are we actually getting back into, uh, the somewhat spoopy, creepy games. But it's alright, it's okay. We're back, and we're more smiling than ever. From what I remember, uh, what was her name? Megumi? I believe Megumi. Megumi had run away from home because she believed in the myth of the smiling man, and that she had to chant a prayer in order for... in order for, uh, uh, the victim's soul to go to heaven. Eisuke? Eisuke. For Eisuke's soul to go to heaven. And... it... it didn't end up leading to like a solid lead on the case but it does explain a lot of things we were so confused about why basachi was so uh so so clammed up when it came to megumi when whether or not like the old murders were really related uh to this new one well we don't really know that too either all we really know is that the paper bag matches the paper bag from the second and third murders but um uh, we're <laughs> It, it just feels like we're, we're no closer to solving it, and yet so far away. But I have confidence. I have confidence that we will get to the bottom of this. And this lady will help. We don't know if she has a name. I hope she has a name. I really hope she has a name. <laughs> All right, let's get back into the game, y'all. And uh, you know what? The game will summarize the plot. We don't have to remember anything. Good, my brain is empty. No, no software. I have been putting off that software update for so long. <laughs> Every time I play Echoes of Wisdom, y'all see that. I don't know why I'm not updating. I, I just have this feeling. I just have this feeling. There's that theme. Hold on, hold on. I want to listen to this for a little bit. I missed it. It's so good. Oh, you hear those 80s drums? <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love it so much. This game is great. Like, it definitely does adhere to the old style, but it's worth it. I love it. Visual novel? Yes, it is. It is the sequel to the Famicom Detective Club games that came out back in the 80s and got remastered a couple years ago. And uh, it fits right in. It's a direct sequel. It takes place like two years after the, the first game because the second game is actually a prequel. So it's like, it's like we never left them. It's like we never left Detective Chris Adobo and the Utsugi Detective Agency. I'm ready. I'm ready to get right back in. I remember, I remember. We headed to the police station because the head detective on the case has been missing for a couple of days. Well, I don't know if he's been missing, he's just been busy. So it's a little suspicious that he's been like tied up with something. Is it related to the case or not? Ace Kasasaki, age 15, was found dead with a paper bag with a smiley face drawn on its over his head. The scene was similar to those of unsolved murders from 18 years ago as well as the urban legend of the smiling man. Megumi, who was hidden in her room for days as the smiling man fad spread, suddenly disappears. Megumi is taken to the police station where she recounts what happened on the day of Eisuke's death. She also tells about her encounter with the smiling man at the scene of Eisuke's murder. The paper bag worn by the smiling man she had had the finally space fade several to the ones in Eisuke's own bag. It's supposed to be an urban legend, but it became reality. The next day, you return to the station to visit Inspector Kamada, whom you've not seen in a few days. That scrolled really fast. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, it took a while. We're here. Thank you, Penguin, for the bucket. We'll come on in. BNs always have amazing music. So, fun fact, this game... Well, the remasters, but also this game, 
was developed by um, I forget their name, but the studio that did like a bunch of those famous visual novels, like Steins Gate, I think, which I've never played myself either, but I know that's a famous one. It's like, it's like oh, the, those those visual novels with the semicolon in the middle, right? There's like a couple of those. So I hear they're pretty popular. I think they got an anime or something. So uh, that's pretty good. And uh, this police officer lady's cute. Let's talk to her. You're here to see Inspector Kamada? He's here today. Finally. Oh! Please go to the back room. Thank you! Oh, well, there you go. That's all we needed to do. Yeah. Hey, Dobo! Please forgive me, because I think I'm just gonna forget all of the all of the voices I did for every character. Uh, I believe I gave him just the old, the, the generic uh, uh, middle aged to old man. Hello, Inspector Kamada. Thanks for coming all this way. You want to hear about the injured man, right? Emio, the injured man? I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Yes, that's right. Injured man. Are we talking about? An incident from before, like the 18 years ago first murder? Or what? Oh, oh, no. Uh, 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 if I remember, uh, there was an incident, and then, like, the police went to interrogate one of the suspects, and then he disappeared? Like, his apartment was empty or something? I need to read all of the case files again. Oh, man, this is a problem with these kinds of games. You need to have a, a brain cell or two. I understand the injured man simply disappeared, and I'd like to hear more. Uh, what is what is with the grimace, sir? First, I have a question for you, Inspector Kamada. Oh, what is it? Were you aware of what was happening last night? You weren't at the police station. I'm just wondering where you were instead of here. Uh, you're being a little... Why are you being a little cagey about that? It's not your place to worry about that. Uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, Detective, but not every question is deserving of an answer. I mean, all I have to say is classified. I mean, I understand. Understood. Sorry. I wonder if I shouldn't have said anything. Inspector Kamada seems pretty tightly wound today. What can you tell me about the missing man? Okay, now it's the missing man. His name was Minoru Suzuki. Like Taichi Suzuki? No, this one has a T. Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki Minoru. Minoru Suzuki? He's been missing 18 years since the day Ayaka Hashizume was murdered. He was 25 years old at the time. If he were still alive, he'd be 43 now. We were looking for him back then because we saw him as a person of interest in the case. But we never could find him. Okay, I'm gonna open my notebook and see if anybody is specifically 43 years old. Uh, how long? I mean, I don't think... I don't think it has anything to do with Utsugi. Utsugi is 40. For all we know, he could be lying about his age. No, I think he's fine. I don't know if there's anybody else who would fit that description. Okay, I'm looking at Minoru Suzuki's profile. A man went missing around the time of the serial murders 18 years ago. He knew the first victim. On the day the first victim's body was found, he disappeared, leaving behind a disturbing amount of blood in his apartment. Although he was one of the key people in the Ayaka Hashizume case, his name was never released. His whereabouts remain unknown since the day Ayaka died. 25 years old at the time. And Ayaka Hashizume... I know her father was also a suspect in that case, but supposedly he burned alive. He was 46 years old at the time, 18 years ago. Died in a fire, same day. One of the key suspects. He and Ayaka lived by themselves. I don't think there's particularly anybody that old that we know. So you know, just 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 dotting my T's and crossing my eyes. Crossing my eyes? Hmm? Does that does that pick up on my VTuber? If I cross my eyes, like actually? Y'all you're all gonna have to tell me, I can't see it. 
can't see it because my eyes are crossed. I don't think it shows up. But uh, believe me, I was doing that. Man, iPhone tracking. It's supposed to be better than this. Cab driver. What if the cab driver is 43 years old? <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Anything else I should know? There's nothing else. No. Then why did I wait so long to talk to you, man? What? What? The only information I have on Suzuki is 18 years old. We followed it at the time, but we never managed to find Suzuki. Nowadays, most folks in the department think Suzuki is long dead. Suzuki generally isn't considered important to the current case. But I still want you to look into him all the same. You got a different perspective than we do. Yeah, you know, fresh set of eyes. Oh, I was told, yeah, I was told to look into somebody. I was, t I guess, I, I believe I was told to look into the missing man. And now we know just like one piece of information. <sighs> what do I do? What do I even do with this? All I know is his name. Maybe I look in the library again and look up more articles. So that's what this is all about. Observations? Maybe you'll notice something we've missed. Uh, Kamada, are, are you okay? What, what was with the erg? Did you, did you suddenly uh, did you suddenly remember you ate Taco Bell? Sorry, it's a little, a little gas attack. Huh? So you took at least that's what I'm counting on. Uh, what's going on, man? You okay? Maybe this is why he's been missing. He's just like in pain. He's quite a stern look today. Uh, he looks like he's in pain. Do you throw out your back or something? That's why he's doing the little grimace. Are you okay? Bust a wolf! I'm so expressive. Oh yeah. Emio, smile. Weendy, welcome back to Emio. Yeah, you haven't missed much. We're back at the police station asking Kamada about the missing man from 18 years ago. The one with the blood in his apartment. Uh, apparently, all we know is his name. Uh, Suzuki, with a T. But, that's all we know. That's the problem. We don't know anything. The information's 18 years old. But, with my fresh pair of eyes, I might have something new. Uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You say that, but... Anyway, we're not allowed to share confidential information outside the force. That's all I can say. I got nothing else I can tell you. Okay. I'm thinking. Oh, I accidentally used the phone. I'm thinking. I guess that's the way it is in that case. That is a very, like, clearly translated from Japanese sentence. It is the way it is in that case. Just like generic phrases. Can he say if he thinks the girls were really victims of indiscriminate murders? Probably not, right? What are you mumbling about? It occurs to me that we don't know the motive of the serial girl murder case, whether it was indiscriminate. I was wondering if the police had ideas. If so, I need to know. You know I can't tell you that. Yep, yeah, I knew it all right. Yep, yeah, buddy. Worth a shot. You know already I can't share sensitive information outside the force. Well, what if I apply for a job? I'll do the training. I'll be a better shot with a gun than freaking uh, Daisuke. That said, I can't let you leave here without a new clue to work. Let me give you this. What is it? It's a weapon. It's Daisuke's gun. I can't trust him with it, so you can have it. I'd rather trust a 19-year-old than him anyway. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> wow, thank you. Bang, bang. <laughs> Not second thought, maybe you shouldn't have that. Uh, is that a sketch? A sketch of, of Suzuki? Oh, a police sketch. Wow, he definitely looks like a person. Perceptive. Now guess the job of the officer, Druid. A professional sketch artist? Who is this? 
It's what Suzuki might look like now at age 43. It's based off an old picture of him. Oh yeah, just kind of a forensic sketch artist. Like, kind of guessing, knowing what they look like, just like aging them up a little bit. That is like an impressive skill, for to be sure. But for all we know, he shaved his head. It's a sketch of Suzuki at age 43, uh, based on an old picture of him. Since it was drawn by a professional, I figure it can't be too far off. They didn't have, like, computer imaging back then to really, like, make a 3D model of it. They really had to just, like, go off of their own art skills. But nowadays they have that technology, and it's, like, it's wild. I wonder if anybody... I don't know how long we've had it. I know we've had it for a couple of years now. I wonder if anybody's, like... Like, taking a picture, use the aging technology, and then, like, 20 years later, they're like, Oh, wow, did it look exactly like... Did it, did it come out exactly like it like we thought? I'm not talking about those Snapchat filters that make you look, like, 70 years old. I'm thinking I'm talking about, like, actual police technology. Thank you, I'm glad to have it. Huh? As I said, I can't give you most of our old information on Suzuki. Yeah, I understand that's frustrating since I brought you in on this investigation. But by you taking a fresh look at Suzuki, you might see something we missed. At least that's what I hope happens. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to call an amp for lamps? You want me to get you a first aid kit, maybe a boba tea? <laughs> He hasn't said it, but it seems like Inspector Kamada thinks Suzuki is alive and involved in the case. But it's difficult to perform a new investigation, so he's asked me to help. I'll conduct my investigation with that in mind. I will show you something. The sketch. Yes, that's the portrait of Minoru Suzuki that I just gave to you. Okay, just, uh, you know, just making sure. Look, I play Ace Attorney. If I'm not showing everybody every piece of evidence I have, then am I really playing the game? Minoru Suzuki. So that's the name of the missing man. If you exhibit the Suzuki angle from scratch, maybe you can find something we haven't been able to. I'm counting on you. Yeah. All right, he's not gonna tell me what's ailing him. So uh, I'm looking at the sketch, a sketch of what he might look like. Uh, look at detective. Looks like he's in pain, but I feel like I shouldn't ask about it. I don't know, at least be a little concerned. I'm a travel. Thank you for your time, Inspector Kamada. The sketch you gave me will be very useful. I've got a lawyer's badge this time. I just gotta draw one on a piece of cardboard. Just like El T Furio Tigre. Do you have any leads? Um. Uh. <laughs> I mean. I feel like if I'm gonna look for information about this man, uh, going anywhere at the recent locations is not really gonna be helpful, so I guess I'm going to the library. I'm going to the library. Oh, really? Maybe that's not the best plan? You know, usually in situations like this, police would canvas for info at Kofuku Station. You're right. I mean, what, just happen to ask if anybody that looks like this walked by? Okay then, I'm off! Good luck! And keep up the good... Uh, good work on my behalf! Huh? Alright bud, you won't want to trouble people with your bad back, then you're gonna... then you're gonna just have to live with it. Ayumi! Uh, excuse me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This man is suspicious. It's not- it, This man is suspicious. It's the middle of summer. He's wearing all this hot clothing. Um. Hello. Uh. What? Whoa! Hey! Come back here! Wait a minute! Um, what's the button that hides things? Uh. Uh. Oh god, no. That was the auto- that was the auto button. Phew! Oh, I think it's B? 
There you go. There's my there's my there's my thumbnail for the stream. <sighs> International sign of guilt running away. Look, he was wearing a mask. He's probably sick. He doesn't want to get us infected. He's just being considerate. Like, say six feet away, he probably wants to stay ten feet away from people. Maybe twenty. <laughs> Where'd he go? Yo, all these pictures are so good for a thumbnail. Oh! Get away! <gasps> ah! Ayumi? Ayumi, are you okay? You can't. You can't. You can't just do that. I. I. We need to know if Ayumi's okay. Kofuku Station. This is the heart of Kofuku City, where the serial girl murders happened. He's wearing a tracksuit because he wants to stay fit even when he's sick. <laughs> Uh, what if that was the missing man? We can't identify him by his face. There's a lot of people passing by the station. It won't be easy, but maybe I can learn something useful here. I'll use a sketch of Minoru Suzuki that Inspector Kamada gave me to ask around for info. I keep thinking about Inspector Kamada's strange behavior, but I should focus on the investigation. He's given me a great opportunity, and I've got to live up to his expectations. Hmm. I'll look around. What, is, what kind of restaurants is it? This is, uh, well, I guess it's a curry place. It says, Rice curry heaven. Rice curry heaven. There's lots of restaurants in front of the station. Lots to eat here in the heart of Kofuku City. Well, that's nice. Cheap restaurant. It's called Sashimu. Uh, mm. Sashimomi. 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 That's what it's called. It looks like they got lots of customers. What's this? 500 yen for all large portion set meals? That's pretty intriguing. I mean, that's really cheap now. Is that cheap for the 80s? Why don't I save their phone number just in case? What? 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 Wait, what? That was actually in. That was actually important. That was what? <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Why is this in my phone? Uh, hey, let's call the restaurant. Let's make a reservation. Mosh mosh. Table for one, please, for right now. Our service is excellent. Our customer service is friendly, and our food is delicious. We're your new favorite diner. Oh, okay. Didn't want to make a reservation, just wanted to waste my battery, I suppose. Can I get the can I get the phone number of this curry place? Lucky Dice Curry. That's not what that's called. That's called Curry Heaven. Curry with pork cutlet is my favorite. I can actually read the Japanese. Wow. Karaoke place. Ayumi could be in danger, and I'm looking for karaoke. What is this? A Yakuza game? Manda and Oda's Karaoke Palace. Huh? Is this a karaoke restaurant run by two people? I mean, why not? You just need to make sure the machines are working, right? Bicycles prohibited. This is called... Hiyo... Hiyoko Sa... Sa... What? Sian? Hiro, hiro, hi, hiyo, hiyoko chan. Yakitori baby. Interesting name. I wonder how they landed on it. Since both of Mr. Itsugi and Ayumi like Yakitori, I'll save the phone number. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I just saving phone numbers? It's Drinko Fufu. It's, it's Drinko Fuku Station. Were they drunk when they thought of that pun? Is that what that says? I can't read this kanji. But it is an izakaya. College student. She's checking her watch. Maybe she's waiting for someone. Maybe we should tell her to call the, the time hotline. It's time to get a watch. Let's call Yakitori Baby. Yup, yup, yup. 
Clock, clock, hello! This is Yakitori Baby! I like this restaurant already. <laughs> they speak in my language. Let's talk to this college student. Pardon me! Do you have a minute? What? What? I have a boyfriend! Oh. Okay, bye. I don't know why, but I'm a little hurt by that. Oh. Oh. Hold on, we need a sad in the chat. There you go. Oh well, maybe next time. Celeste, welcome on in. How about uh, this lady over here? Hello! Can I steal a moment of your time? Um. Negima and liver. Oh, and gizzards and skin? Oh, maybe it should be chicken wings. Oh, I almost forgot the thighs. It's so hard to choose. Common Rider would never forget the thighs. She's focused on food. I should leave her alone. I want to go to a yakitori place in Japan. I have been. Uh, but, like, I feel like I never, I didn't really try, like, the good stuff. I mean, what I had was really good. I went to this yakitori place in Odaiba that had, like, pictures of American celebrities, like, on the wall. So, uh, probably it's famous. I don't know if it really is, but it was really good. It had, like, freaking, I think, like, Johnny Depp as one of the pictures and a couple of other, like, uh, musicians that I don't know. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Who are you? I'm a detective with the Utsugi Detective Agency, and I'm searching for someone. How's the volume, by the way? I kind of have it set to where it was for, um... I have it set to where it was for Echoes of Wisdom, but maybe it might be different for this game. You seem a little young for a detective. Hey, I'm 19. Uh, have you seen this man? Do you recognize this person? Volume is good? Okay, thank you, Twyla. Should I? Who is this? Your mama. His name is Minoru Tsuzuki. He lived near here until around 18 years ago. Sorry, I moved here last year for work. I don't know anyone. Even my family lives far away. I'm no help. He's the only one that wanted to talk to me. Not a problem. Sorry to bother you. Well, that was a bust. He's already gone. Oh, there's a new person. How about you? Just drinking outside. Teen with coffee. Excuse me. Hello. You want to go in there? Feel free. Um, actually, I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I can. Do you... Do you work for the restaurant, or...? Sorry, if you're not a customer, you have to find someone else to talk to. I'm working. Uh, are you? I think you're just drinking coffee. I just need a few minutes. I said I'm busy, can't you see? Uh-huh, busy getting caffeinated. You're just hanging out in front of the restaurant drinking a can of coffee. I can't tell if he's on a break or slacking off. But he's definitely annoyed. I doubt he'll talk to me even if I keep trying. Sorry to bother you. Well then. Um I I there's not there's not much else here. Excuse me. Hmm. She's thinking awfully hard. Uh maybe if I call your restaurant and tell them that you're slacking off. <laughs> Our service is excellent, you say. Well, one of your employees is just slacking. I'm thinking. I should focus on asking around, but there's like nobody to talk to anymore. Oh, what else haven't I looked at? Which one of these buttons was like, move fast? Oh yeah, it's clicking the stick. Hmm. 
sorry, Link, I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Sign. Bicycles prohibited. Oh, it looks like they're open for lunch. That's cool. Maybe go inside the restaurant. I wonder about their taste in names, but it smells great. Yakitori, baby. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the only one to talk to, so I'm going to talk to you again. Food is very important. Making you hungry. Curry shop, Yakitori. Man, and we just saw one of the main characters potentially get murdered. I hope not. But dang. Impressed how many parts of the animations of randos this game has. Oh yeah, the studio really, really put in their, put in their effort. So much anime, visual novels. I imagine like every visual novel looks this good these days. I just don't really play that many uh, modern ones. Like imagine if Ace Attorney had this much like level of effort in their 2D animation. But then again, they have even the actual animation. This is more like add live 2D on stuff. So uh, you know, it's it's a trade off. I'm busy. Go bother someone else. Oh, uh, no. Maybe I talk to Utsugi? Maybe I call Ayumi? She won't pick up, though. Hey, what's going on? I've got a police sketch of the man who disappeared 18 years ago. I'm at the Kofuku station to see if I can find any clues as to his whereabouts. I don't know if it's necessary, but they're dedicated. It looks nice. So you're gonna use the sketch to get information? Good plan. Good luck. Aye. Thank you. Are you me? Are you okay? Have you got got by the boogeyman? Huh, maybe she's busy. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Okay. Maybe if I call the lady thinking about food enough times, she'll actually answer. Onchiri. I mean, she's thinking about different food each time. Never mind. Fun fact, I learned what bonjiri was, like, very recently. Uh, it's the part of the chicken's tail that's a little, like, the, the fat little stub. <laughs> so, you know, don't touch my bonjiri. There is no someone else, man. There's no one else in the station. Alice, Alice, do you know? Do you know about the missing man? I'm looking around for information, but I'm just getting hungry because I'm in this Japanese shopping street. We got yakitori, we got curry, we got meal sets. Look, there's even sushi back there. <laughs> Alice Flair, welcome on in. Miku, thanks for shouting out, Alice. How you doing? How was the Scooby Dooby Doo? Y'all, Alice was playing uh, Scooby Doo. Uh, it was, uh, what was it? Was it? Was it? It was the GameCube one. I never played it myself, but I love when people play it for Halloween because it's just so. It's just so. It just feels like a Scooby Doo episode. Like, so like Scoob, we're in a GameCube game. <laughs> this is making me real hungry. Even the modern double A games would just give text. Yeah. Can we go get snackies together? All right, all right. Where you want to go? We can have some bonjiri. We get some chicken tail. Not my tail. Other chicken's tail. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody, for the uh, for Emil the Smiling Man. We're detectives. We're on the case. We're solving the murder of a of a kid who was murdered in a way similar to these serial murders from 18 years ago. It's getting good. And uh, apparently, we're just looking for clues around a shopping street. <laughs> Tasu, what's up? Should get ramen tomorrow. Oh yeah. If anybody wants. If anybody wants to be even more hungry, look at this ramen I had yesterday. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, there's this new place that opened up near me, and it has, like, the smokiest barbecue chicken ramen I've ever had. I used to be like, oh, yeah, why have ram chicken ramen? It doesn't taste as good as pork ramen. This honestly changes my mind. It, it makes me feel like I'd rather have chicken ramen than pork. It might be healthier. It probably isn't, but it might be healthier. <laughs> Damn. Gimme! You're just gonna have to come over. TwitchCon, anybody? Chicken butt! Guess what? 
Yeah, welcome on in. If anybody doesn't know me, I'm Chris. I do voice acting and I play visual novels. <laughs> welcome on in. Normally get chicken ramen, pork ramen, messes with your tummy. Whoa. Got them hot girl tummy issues. I know how it is. I know how it is. But, uh, you know, it's really good, though. You gotta try it. It's a nice size station for the area. Oh, there's a lot more people! What? <laughs> you know, my character should look to the right more often. There are lots of restaurants, plenty to eat here in the heart of Kofuku City. There's a lot of foot traffic here, too. Hmm. What if we talk to this, uh, old person having back issues? Konnichiwa! Hello, uh, may I speak to you for a moment? Food and karaoke. There's a karaoke place up there, too. Uh, I don't see there's a sign that says karaoke, but apparently there's uh, one on the top floor of that restaurant. Huh? Hey! See my what? You want to see my butt? I haven't done that in 15 years! But I, I didn't say that. N no, no, I'm a detective. I I'm looking for someone. Who are you looking for? A man by the name of Minoru Tsuzuki. Huh? What name? Uh, Minoru Tsuzuki. You're looking for my granddaughter? Huh? What? Minoru Suzuki. She's only 18, 11 years old. Why are you looking for her? I, I'm not. That is a very similar name, though, but that... No, 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 not Minori Suzuki. The, the, the person in this sketch is... Who is this old man? This man is Minoru Suzuki. I feel like... Uh, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm talking to, to the old people I know in real life. Sometimes you just like, gotta raise your voice. You're like, you're not trying to yell. You're just trying to be as clear as possible. Like, this man is Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> you ask, my granddaughter is not an old man. There's no point talking to you. Okay, well, uh, thanks. <laughs> Y'all, I like this game. Y'all haven't played the Detective Club games. They're just, they're just, they're just fun. <laughs> In between the mysteries and the murder, you know. Kind of like Ace Attorney. Which I'm a big fan of, if anybody didn't already know. Yeah, I love mystery games, mystery kind of like shows and, and books. I used to read those Goosebumps, like, create your adventure, but like, also just the Goosebumps books as a kid. I think there's like Goosebumps video games too. I should check those out for 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 Halloween one of these years, right? Yeah. But uh, welcome on in everybody. If you if you gotta get some post stream care done, then I totally understand. Uh, get some snacks, get some drinks, and uh, yeah, welcome on in everybody. Let's uh, see if anybody else might be a better lead here. Goosebumps video games. So I okay. So I remember there used to be these like Goosebumps point and click adventure games. I think they might have been Flash games, or maybe they're like Wii shovelware or something like that. I just remember have vague memories of them existing. I don't remember where I saw them or who was playing them. But I should play those because they were kind of like based on the classic stories. Like like you remember the Goosebumps story with the with the kid who put on the old man mask, but then it like slowly actually turned him into an old man. Or like the the dummy, the dummy in the attic that was basically like Chucky. Just like there's so many classic Goosebumps. Oh my god. Oh, um, I need to like remind myself of those. So cool. Monster blood. Uh, uh, pardon me. I, I was wondering if you might be able to help me. Yes. What is it? Say cheese and die. I don't know if I ever read that one. I'm a detective, and I'm looking for someone. The abominable snowman of Pasadena. Oh wow, now that I've actually been to Pasadena, maybe I should read that one. Who? I've lived here long enough. I might know them. That's great. I mean, they might be a murderer, so that's not as great, but that's great. Here. Do you recognize this person? I should probably, like... Take a photo of this just in case somebody like steals it or something. Uh, ghost camp. 
Night of the Living Dummy stared at you as a kid. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. There was the book series with the amusement park. Was that one of the Create Your Own Adventure ones? I just really liked those books because it was like, like a video game. But it was hard to like, y'all ever, y'all were ever part of that like accelerated reading program or whatever where you like track your reading and you get points. I'm like, how do I track this? Because I keep getting the bad ending and dying. So like, do I do I read the pages again? Do I do I? <laughs> what if I hit a loop in my in my in my book? Do I get infinite pages? <laughs> You recognize this person? Horrorland. His name is Minoru Suzuki. He lived near here until 18 years ago. I've lived here for over 40 years. Never seen the guy. I mean, to be fair, this is not what he looked like 18 years ago. This is an interpretation. Attack of the Mutants. I see. Thank you for your help. This game makes you realize how eccentric Ace Attorney is. Like, this is how it's gonna... It'd be like to be a private detective in real life. You spend so long in the streets asking about. Ace Attorney can drag out sometimes, but this game really takes it slow. Sorry, I couldn't help. Here, have some candy. It'll cheer you up. Ooh, a piece of candy. Wow, thanks, Obasan. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, my God, I ate the candy. <laughs> My goodness, you're excited. Take your time with the candy. Don't bite right in. Savor it. Yes, of course. My Harry Adventure. There's so many Goosebumps books that I don't know about. You know, I never really looked into them past what my school library had, so I always assumed there were just the ones I knew about. But I guess probably my school library had just like 1% of all of them, apparently. Wasn't there a Goosebumps movie a couple years ago, too, with, like, Jack Black as R.L. Stein? That was weird. Yeah, now he's Steve from Minecraft. How did that happen? Munching on candy. They made two? I gotta watch them. I gotta watch them. Were they good? Yes, of course. See you later. Thanks, lady. Oh, well, I'm not any further to the truth. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't there, like, a dude back there? Where'd he go? I was gonna ask him next. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look around some more, I guess. Well, heck. Maybe I can get more restaurants' phone numbers. But yeah, no, this game does take it pretty slow. I kinda like that, though, because it does feel like you're actually looking around for information. It's not just gonna be handed to you. You gotta dig deep. Waterfall training, authentic ramen. I want to be hit by the waterfall. I kind of, I guess that's what that says, because I see uh, Mizu up there. Um, so I guess that's the word for waterfall. Uh, I do see the word ramen as well. Fish. Fila, look, it's you. Up here. I didn't know you were the mascot of a restaurant. Uh, the movies are neat, great effects, love letter to the books. If you've read a lot of them, you'd be doing the meme with the guy pointing at the TV. You mean, <laughs> you mean Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Am everywhere. How do you read that kanji? Em, em, emi, emiko? Is that it? No? Huh. Uh, I mean, that second character is ko. I guess it would be ko in this context. What does this say? Suna... C snack. It says snack. But no, but it, it's in hiragana, so it wouldn't be an English word. Would it? Okay, what does this say? Emmy, I guess it says Emmy. I guess it reads Shoko. Shoko bar. I was thinking of another way to read smile. He's got, s he's got smiles on the brain. Whoa. What if it reads smile because Emmy of the Smiling Man is a regular here? <laughs> There's no way. They don't seem to be open right now, anyway. Shoko. Shoko. Isn't that the name of the girl from, uh... From, uh... uh, uh, the, uh, uh was it... Was it... The, the Komi Can't Communicate? Komi Shoko? The 
first kanji is smiling. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's just the way you read it in that context. I'm learning so much, y'all. I've been practicing more Duolingo. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to learn more kanji and everything. It's exciting. It's hard to talk to someone so blatantly disgusted with you. I'll go find someone else. Well, there's not really much else. Uh, maybe now the lady looking at the yakitori will talk to me. I, I swear, if this is a, just like wasting my time until the lady is ready. Oh no, just when I thought I found the lead. I'm thinking. Uh, still no leads after talking to several people. Although it's not surprising given that he's been gone from the area for so many years. What should I do? Should I keep going? Oh, we got an ad. Uh, I'm gonna take a three minute break because this is not really the kind of game where I can... Where I can, uh... Just play through it. Alright, we're gonna take a three minute break, y'all. Stretch, uh, get some water. Everything, everything. Uh, I'll be right back. Bye bye! A anyway, welcome back, y'all. Uh, y'all hungry yet? We're gonna go into the Yakitori restaurant so we can get these ladies' attention finally. What should I do? Should I keep going? Uh, excuse me? Uh, you sound very th You sound like a character from Yakuza. Hey, look at you! Huh? Who's that? Is it the glasses man? Oh. Kamihara, what the f- What the heck, man? Why are you trying to scare me like that? It's me! Oh. This is just Detective Kamihara. What the hell are you doing, man? I thought it was like- I thought I was like gonna get jumped by the actual Yakuza or something. Like, hey, this is our turf. Why are you snooping around? Just Detective Kamihara? Are you trying to make me cry? No, but I hope I do. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna look at this guy. Why is he dressed plain clothes? Is he off duty? He's the murderer, kill him. Daisuke, what the heck? <laughs> you hate him. I hate it for that. This is not the time. Ayumi got jumped. We got to find out where she is. We got to save her. What? Do I have something on my face? Uh, the taste of a liar? No, that's Jojo. Are you off today? You like him, but you hate him. You love to hate him. And that's the sign of a good character, I think, in my book. Nah, I'm asking around for information right now. Then why aren't you in uniform? Does it look like I'm goofing off, boy detective? I'm out here burning the candle and all that. Man, he's got that shit-eating grin. Look look at him. Look at him. Look at his face. So punchable. But if Detective Kuze ever suspected that I'm slacking off, if it comes to trial, I want you to defend me. I'm not a lawyer, we established this. Say, he works hard, no goofing off. Uh huh, huh, huh. Yeah. What kind of trial is he imagining? Kangaroo Court. Asking about Kuze. Kuze! It's so easy to kill him. Take him to a back alley. Shoot him with his own gun. He'd never shoot me. He's a bad shot. Speaking to Detective Kuze, why isn't she here with you? Whoa, good question. I'm gonna answer it with another question. Wouldn't you love another senpai, senpai quiz? Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Detective Kuze isn't around. But what is she doing today? Thinking time. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Stato. Hang on. Your, your quiz is way too vague. At least give me some choices or some kind of clue. Fine! I'll make it easy and give you two choices. Is my senpai A. Working separately and we're meeting later? Or B. Off duty today? Time's up! Answer please! Uh, oh man, he still didn't give me a clue. Uh, she's off duty? She's off duty today! Wrong! So, so wrong. Okay, well, you know what? She deserves a break, then. 
The correct answer, if we're working separately and we'll be meeting up later. How am I supposed to know that? There must have been something you missed, boy detective. Yeah, I missed the part where I care. <laughs> eh? What? Senpai and I are working the case separately. We'll meet up later, so that's why she's not here. Thanks for playing my Senpai quiz. So is Detective Kuze nearby? And what are the two of them here investigating? Well, I'm still going to show you a sketch anyway. Huh? Oh, this is... Minoru Suzuki. Oh, from Instructor Kamada. Okay, do you have any clues? I'm asking about Kamada. Why is, his, why is he in pain? Did he accidentally sit on attack? Did he accidentally sit on something else? Do you know if Inspector Kamada is okay? I missed the part where this is my problem, and why are you asking me to guess? I saw him today, and it seemed like he was in pain. Oh yeah, huh. I wonder what's going on. Huh? You don't know either? I wonder what happened. Observations. I feel like it's fate that we bumped into one another, boy detective. That, or coincidence, you know, I think this was the guy in the way back back of the alley. And maybe I could have talked to him earlier, just like I talked to the old lady first. Well, I mean, what else do I talk to you about? What is Detective Kuze sauce doing that quiz? It'll be fine! If she shows up, I'll handle her! I, I don't think you can. I don't think anybody can. Belzebub, welcome on in. Sprint, thanks for shouting out Celeste, who's been recently getting back into streaming a little, little bit. Just a little bit! <laughs> or maybe you can get yelled at along with me, boy detective. Hey, don't get me involved! Nani nani? That might as well be his catchphrase or something. Meeting up later. Do you want some more quizzes? I know you can never get enough. I'm afraid it'll have to wait. I only had the one quiz for you today. Uh huh, I want to recount. I'm thinking. I keep running into Detective Kamihara a lot. I hate it. <laughs> mm. Ah! Huh? I think I figured out something out! What's that? Boy Detective, do you... Do you have a thing for Detective Kuze? Do you? You're the one making out sloppy style! Damn, I forgot about that running joke. Huh? You keep asking me about her, so I thought maybe... Well, am I right? I don't know what you're talking about. Right about what? Uh, bad bit of detective work on my part. You do have your wonderful colleague Tachibana after all. Hey, you leave her out of this. She might be kidnapped right now. He's jelly. Whoa, what the hell do you mean? Okay, that one definitely ruffled some feathers. Uh, what was the what's the what's the button? Oh. <laughs> Did I embarrass you? You're adorable, boy detective. <laughs> Please stop. Whatever this is. Was that optional? Hey, what are you doing out here anyway, boy detective? I'm here looking into the case from 18 years ago. I'm not having much luck, though. Must be tough without any good clues to work with. I do have a clue, though. It's the sketch. Which, if you would mind looking at again. No? Okay. You're so cute, boy detective. Okay. I'm thinking. It's gonna be a massive pain in the ass to proceed with the investigation using nothing but this sketch. Daisuke's not helping. <laughs> Maybe if the police shared a few details, I could provide some insight. Of course, Detective Kamihara is with the police, but maybe he'll take pity on a civilian like me. Won't he? Maybe I'll get somewhere if I go for puppy dog eyes. 
手がかりって何何 Look at him Look at him Huh? But detective, why are you making that face? I'm、uh, having some trouble. What's wrong? Oh, I know what it is. You do? Do you have a stomach ache? No, I. No! That was my best pity me face. I, I guess it didn't work. Puss in boots, we are not. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Glad I was wrong. We're not busting out the tums yet. Still, if you need anything, let me know. I'm always happy to listen. Uh huh, you haven't helped so far. Help with anything? Yeah, I mean, what? Why are you so excited? I will ask about. Show the sketch one more time. What about Kamihara? I'll listen to what you have to say first, you know, for now. I need some help with my investigation. And you're kind of the only person who I think can help me. I'm afraid I have no one to turn to but you, Detective Kamihara. Really? I know, sad, isn't it? Details, finally. Could you maybe slip me some details on the investigation? Ah.、Uh... Okay, listen. You need to keep this between us, okay? It's very important. It worked? He's gonna share? Just kidding! You know, police rules prevent me from saying anything to you? Yeah, I thought so. But it felt pretty cool thinking you'd rely on me for help. Ugh. Ugh, this guy! He needs to take a long walk off of a short shopping district. Doesn't matter if you really did or not. Uh huh. Sorry! It's an S E C R E T! Shikureto! Tayo! I can't really tell you anything. Not even if you call me handsome again. Did I ever say that? I'm thinking. Detective Kamihara really likes being called handsome, huh? Uh huh. Kamihara. Sorry I couldn't help you. Details. Even if you call me handsome, it's no use. I'll say nothing more. Dame da ne. Dame yo. Dame na no yo. Anta ga. Suki de. Suki, suki te. Oh, by the way, after the, after the summer camp event at work yesterday that I mentioned off stream,、uh, we had karaoke right at, at, at the office, and they use this, this system. It, it's, a, it's a cool little website for karaoke because it has a bunch of licensed songs, and it, like, lets you, like, use a, it lets you scan a QR code and put in songs. It's called Karafun. I found the website. You can just use it, and it's pretty cool. If you ever host karaoke for an event, do, do use that. But also, it has Bakami Tai. <laughs> it has Bakami Tai, and I think there's like a system to vote for new songs to add. And they're like, they're working on adding Machine Gun Kiss and Judgment. Like, it's in the system, but they're like, not available yet. So I'm like, hey, hey, if y'all w a n t to do me a favor, sign up for the app, and then just like put an upvote on Judgment and Machine Gun Kiss. Thank you very much. Machine gun kiss, let's just fall in love. Whoa! Hey, did Inspector Kamada give you any info? All I have to work with is the name Minoru Tsuzuki on this sketch. I guess they searched for him all at the time, but they never found him. Yeah, there are others in the precinct who think the Suzuki guy's gotta be long dead by now. So it gets hard to convince anyone to devote much energy to this case, you know? That's why you're here, boy detective. You can do what others can't, yeah? Yeah! Yes, I'll do my best. I feel like I'm just a summer intern or something. It's like Inspector Kamada said a lot of folks think Minoru Suzuki is long dead. But it's gotta be something. What the? I'm thinking. 
Is it possible Minoru Suzuki is already dead? Omae wa mou shinderu. Suzuki Minoru wa sude ni shibou shiteiru n daro ka? Aw, he didn't say mou shinderu. You are already dead. I think Inspector Kamada is right to be relying on you, boy detective. Inspector Kamada comes off as aloof, but that guy is a damn good investigator. They said, damn. Comes off as aloof? Rude. You're the aloof. You're a sponge loofah. I bet that's why he talked to you about Minoru Suzuki. Inspector Kamada's got clout, but he can't just do whatever he wants in the, precinct, in the precinct. Police, we have rules you have to follow. You hear me, boy detective? Yeah, I do. Good! Because I'm rooting for you. Thanks. But I still can't give you any information. Okay, I get it already. I'm thinking. <sighs> Give me something, man. Give me something to work off. You're not telling me anything. This is totally unrelated, but there's something that's been bothering me. What is it? What made you decide you wanted to be a detective when you grew up, boy detective? Uh, I'm guessing what the events of the girl who stands behind. Uh, something like that. Something about solving a murder mystery in middle school and high school and we're like, you know what? We need to help where the police cannot. So we became a private detective with Utsugi. I did it to find my parents. Interesting. Interesting. I never knew their faces or even their names. Oh. What they found was that they died when I was very young. They were both good people. I'm proud to be their son. I guess that might be a little bit of a, a little bit of a spoiler, maybe. I'm sure they must have been wonderful people. I'm sorry I asked the way they did. I didn't imagine I'd be sticking my foot so far in my mouth. I'm sure your feet just live there, Yakamihara. Just like, just, just, you know, might as well have apple-flavored socks. I don't know why I specifically said apple. No, it's fine. No worries. Uh, you're a lot like Detective Kuze. What? She became a detective because she figured it would be the best way to find her brother. Oh, yeah. You know the story about Kuze's brother, don't you? How he disappeared? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, after you asked me about her brother the other day, I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> he pays attention, surprisingly. Do you know that there was a time when she saw someone she thought might be her brother? Really? She said it was when she was in high school, right here in this area. How long ago was that? She saw him. Did she talk to him? Of course she did, but she says he just acted suspicious of her. Was it the wrong person? She seemed pretty sure it was her brother. But she also said he was wearing a mask, like he was sick, so she really couldn't see his face. Like... Like the man who snuck up on Ayumi... Hey? Yo, what is it with that man? And, and, and yeah, we've seen that man a couple of times already. Still, she said she was sure. She said she knew him because they're siblings. Did he maybe lose his memory? Oh no, did he get amnesia? Just like I did in the beginning of the first game? Because they're siblings, huh? Did he also fall off a cliff? The other guy said he didn't know who Detective Kuze was, right? And there's your mystery. Detective Kuze says she thinks that her brother might be suffering from amnesia. Oh. How convenient. The Kuchi Sakayona? No, 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 none of those here. We're not going off of that mystery. No mysteries of, of scissor ladies. Just paper bagmen. Very similar though. Something about like, hey, put a smile on that face. Kuze. She thinks that her brother might be suffering from amnesia. Amnesia? I'm just gonna start calling it amnesia. Cause uh, that is how it's spelled, but it just, it just sounds so weird to say it like that. Do you buy it? It sounds like a cartoon or a low-budget TV show. Well, you know, funny story about amnesia. 
Uh, <laughs> I had it once. Yeah. It seems like it could be possible. <laughs> He's saying that because he had it. Oh, he just wants to be a little, a little shy about it. I've experienced amnesia too, so I get it. Oh, interesting. Well, surprise, I agree with you. As long as the possibility isn't absolutely zero, it's possible. Oh, no. What is that thing from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? The probability drive? Look, probability technically is never completely zero for anything. Anything at all. There's a possibility that we're that you're actually just a brain in space in a jar, like spontaneously existing for a, a fraction of a millisecond. Uh, because it just happens to create false memories of a world with humans that exist. And for all you know, this is the only moment of your life that really exists, and you're just gonna turn into a spontaneous cloud of dust again. Isn't that wild? It's not likely, but it's never zero. Never zero. So Detective Kuze's inspiration to become a detective was because she thought she saw her missing brother? Yep, and she's still looking for him. Even after all this time? She keeps it separate from her day job, but she still works the case. She actually lives around here, you know? Ah, uh, we did try to visit her childhood home. She wasn't there. Uh, Kuchisake Ona is a ghost you're considering for your Sin Eater Geist companion, but eventually went with Drowned Bride. Her stand is called the Black Veil Bride. That's pretty cool. Kuchisake Ona is actually one of the enemies you can fight in World of Horror, which is a nice cool like RPG that kind of simulates tabletop RPGs uh, and is based on Junji Ito and Eldritch Horror and uh, you should play it if you like Junji Ito because it's really cool. It's made by a dentist in Poland <laughs> but it's a cool game and it came out last year. I didn't know that! The story path one? Um, it kind of it kind of plays out like a choose your own adventure kind of. So uh, yeah. I didn't know that! If I'm being honest, I think she probably mistook someone else for her brother. But she trusts her instincts and continues her search. I see her like that and I want to help somehow. Detective Kamihara. Whoa, that's actually interesting. I wish I could do something about it. Kuchisake Ona is in your ghost games. Yeah, the one that's not Phasmophobia, right? Oh, I thought you meant a tabletop game. Story Path had a bunch of horror games made with the system. Oh, no, yeah, no. It, it, it's it's a PC game, but it simulates tabletop games because there's like a virtual deck and it shuffles it and chooses like events from a card deck. Uh, so it kind of functions like a, a tabletop game, but it is a PC game. Sorry, I wasn't very clear about that. <sighs> I'm thinking. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Thinking. Of, speaking of help in Detective Kuze, Yoshie said, "I can't explain it, but I have a gut feeling that you'll be the one to finally reunite Junko and Makoto." Uh, maybe I will learn something about Makoto while I research the case from 18 years ago. That's an interesting lead. Yes. The man that kidnapped Ayumi may be Makoto? Also, I hope she's not actually kidnapped. I hope she's okay. Okay! I'll see what I can find out about Makoto on my end, too. Oh, detective! It's a little strange for me to say this, but thank you. On behalf of Detective Kuze. No worries. Okay, sometimes sometimes the localization of this game is like really literal and sometimes it's like they just invent words out of nowhere Cuz like no worries, but really I just breathe a little bit <laughs> But let's not let her get you know you're looking for let's not let her know you're looking into her brother if she finds out we're treading on what she sees as her personal space, she might give us a lecture. <laughs> okay. By the way, you have a cell phone, don't you? Let's exchange contact information. Oh, yeah, sure. 
What is this? It's a receipt that says I am. It's a receipt that says Maya. What's this on the back? A lamp? You bought a lamp yesterday? Arigato. Thanks. If you find anything out, feel free to call me. And if you don't, still feel free to call. Okay. Since I got him here, is there anything else I might ask Kamihara about? Oh, I should ask him about, about the motorcycle. Okay, but I shouldn't reveal that I know that there was a motorcycle. I should ask what his license plate on his motorcycle is or something. Hey, I was wondering if you found out anything about the motorcycle. Motorcycle? What are you talking about? Uh, I don't think I ever told him about it. I think I told Junko about it. Huh? An eyewitness placed a motorcycle near the crime scene the night of Eisuke Sasaki's murder. Didn't Detective Kuze tell you about it? Uh, I'm just leaking information everywhere! Uh, trans you wish the translator who popped up in your Steam recently is here. Uh, can provide insight about localization. I mean, yeah, I think he would need to just... I know who you're talking about. I think he would need to see the actual, like, Japanese. Or, like, be able to hear the Japanese dialogue more. Because I do have it a little bit low. Uh, specifically so that I can talk over it, unfortunately. But it's, it's a trade-off. Because I listen I listened to my VODs when I, before I turned down the, the, the dialogue volume. And I'm like, I can't even hear myself think let alone hear myself talk over the actual voices. I know I can't understand the Japanese, usually, but it's just like... My brain is trying to reconcile two things at equal volume trying to talk over each other. It just does not work. Turn down for what? Beep, 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 beep. Motorcycle? Huh. No, I haven't heard anything about it. Oh, okay. The sighting occurred an hour after the estimated time of death. Maybe Detective Kuze decided it had nothing to do with the case. But I still expect her to at least share the information. Maybe she made a mistake. Rumor is she's just a human like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm going back to work. See you later, boy detective. Yeah, okay. See you later. And that lady still has not decided what to eat. Huh. It's nearly sunset. Maybe I'll call it a day. Oh no, but I'm gonna go back to the detective office and Yumi's not gonna be there. Oh no. Oh. I'm gonna call Kamihara immediately. Uh, I tried calling, but there's no answer. Of course he doesn't answer his phone. Ayumi, please. Ayumi, please answer. I don't know where you are. I'm scared. <sighs> Guess I'm going back. Planet Coffee! Planet Coffee. Kohi Planeto. Well, no, the adjectives are not reversed in Japanese. Oh. What the? Oh, that wasn't... <laughs> Frick, it had nothing to, it had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> what the I I have been in suspense for the last hour? And it was just Fukuyama again? Well, why are you in disguise, man? <laughs> that was it? Wait, but then is he the man in the mask? Is he the man in the mask that was like watching the TV or What? I mean multiple people can wear masks. It could just be a coincidence. I have, okay, okay, bud. Okay, sure, you may have cleared your name when it comes to Megumi, but I'm still, I'm still suspicious. I don't know, there's something about you that just ain't right still. <laughs> Was I being weird? Well, yes! Totemo. Ooh, ooh, maybe I can see what she actually said. Totemo hen desu. Totemo hen Ah. If I were a cop, I'd be questioning you about your actions right now. If Megumi's mother had found out, she'd have reported you for sure. Uh, okay. You're saying you saved my life. I'm so grateful. I don't think Fukuyama understands how much trouble he could have been in. I, I Well, I'm glad that she's okay. Why wasn't she... Why wasn't she, like, 
answering her phone. I can't make a call while I'm talking. You can. It'll just be rude. Ask about Fukuyama. I'm worried about Megumi. She's in so much pain, and it's all because of me. I mean... I, it's, it's, it's mostly her fault that she uh, had a crush on a teacher, but... You know... You know, she's also in pain because of her classmate dying, so that, that, that's... That's also not your fault, Fukuyama. But still, like, damn. Ah, it's all my fault! You're in the middle of a shop! <laughs> what are you doing? Fukuyama, please stop! Everyone is looking! I'm so sorry, Tachibana. I, I lost control of myself. If you worried about Megumi, why not visit her normally? You're her homeroom teacher. It wouldn't be odd. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> you hate this guy? Damn. And it's not even a love to hate him like Daisuke. It's just like, what the hell are you doing, man? Just when I thought you had explanation, we had a reason for being weird. You're right. But you must understand. You understand, right? Huh? Ask about Megumi. Megumi's incident was a direct result of my poor skills as a teacher. I don't know what I'd even say to her if I saw her. How would her parents feel about me showing up? You'd be uncomfortable being there. Yes, I would. Maybe that's why you should go. Uh, you can't know what's going on inside a house if you spend all your time outside. Tachibana. Yes? You're right. Thank you. You actually want Daisuke back now? <laughs> Bring him back. Bring him back. Have him arrest this man. For disturbing the peace of my mind. Am I just being stupid? I mean, yes, but that's besides the point. <laughs> She's not gonna say no. You should go, sir. Go away. Go far away. I can't stop worrying about how Megumi's doing now. It hurts my heart to think about it. See, on the one hand, like, if he's suspiciously up to something, if he's, like, acting like... I'm just thinking about Ace Attorney 5... How a plot point is there's like, there's a villain who is able to fake his emotions, but because of that, his emotions are always over the top. So it's like, it's obvious to tell like, oh, he's really just lying, just in, trying to act like a normal person. I'm thinking of that. Like, if Fukuyama is like that, he's not actually, he's just like acting like he's concerned, then I'll be so upset. But if he actually is this messed up about it, that's kind of messed up to think that that he might be a suspect. And that's what makes this so interesting, because I can't tell which one I'm supposed to feel. I don't know what to do, Tachibana. Well, uh, good luck with that. I'm not a therapist. Uh, I'm going to look at this tea. Oh, look, we have the bill already. Milk tea. Milk tea. Fukuyama ordered milk tea, and I just followed his lead without really thinking about it. Alright. Uh, bill? Oh, the price is some sort of code I can't read. The clerk can figure it out. I will sip my tea. Okay. Ask about Fukuyama? I'm helpless. A teacher who is unable to do anything for my suffering students. Senpai. Senpai! I will think. Fukuyama isn't quite his usual self today. Yeah, can we ask about why the why the tracksuit? Why why the disguise? Like what was up with that? We haven't even talked about that. Is it because you don't want to be recognized by Megumi or? I swear, Tachibana, I've never treated Megumi any differently than my other students. I know! I should have seen Megumi's feelings and helped her through them. I never meant to hurt her. 
I'm a damn fool. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fukuyama! Jesus Christ, man! Fukuyama, Tsubasawa! Maybe I'm not a good teacher. I should have. I tell me. Am I missing something? I don't think so. I am uncomfortable. Can I leave? <laughs> oh, thanks, Tachibana. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy, what is happening? His love for his students seems genuine. Are you sure about that? He's completely depressed. Is he... Don't tell me he's crying. Your crocodile tears won't sway me. I'm... I'm... Can he be the next victim? I don't know about that. Can I talk about literally anything else? What could I be doing right now? Can I talk about literally anything else, please? I've never seen him so sad before. Once Aceke's case is solved, do you think Megumi will be okay? I mean, only time can tell. Yes, I do! Akira Dolce wants to collaborate, huh? Akira, what are you doing? Akira, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of a visual novel. What are you talking about? What are you do? do what is this? What is this? What's going on? Why are you trying to knock on my stream? You want you want to read? Hey Akira, you want to you want to read this guy? <laughs> you want you want to read this guy's dialogue for me? I, I'm sick of him. <laughs> He's like yelling in the middle of a coffee shop. Oh, a coffee shop. Okay, Akira. I don't know if you can hear me right now. Are, are you well, listening to my stream? Uh oh. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Knocking on people's streams. What's going on here? What's up, gamers? <laughs> I'm asking this stream right now. What are you is this doing? Gonna, is this gonna work? What are you doing? Hello, hello? I hear myself. Wait, what? I don't know. I think he's, uh... I think he's knocking on somebody else's stream right now. Okay. I'm listening to your stream right now, Akira. I hear... Hello? I hear myself. Yes. Yes, no, I'm no, listening I'm to your stream. You. Yes, I. you are knocking on my stream. What's going on? No, I'm knocking on you, Minaka Devo. Yes, you are. Stay. Stay, what? boy. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just here. What are you doing? I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Okay. What's going on? Hold on a second. Something's <laughs> fucked up. Something's so fucked up. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening at all. How does this even work? Well, I, 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 it's too late. I, I, okay, hold on a second. I didn't Wait, accept where? the knock. I, I don't understand it either. Hold on a second. But how would he not hear me? How would he not hear me if he hears the stream? Browser source. Are you broadcasting something to me? Are you broadcasting me to you? Wait, I hear you now, but I, it's not in real time. It's not because it's the stream. Jeez, and rice. <laughs> Okay, your stream is muted. I didn't actually accept the knock, by the way. Okay, no, now I'm muted then. Hello? Now I'm muted. This is fun, y'all. Okay, now I hear. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now I sh. Now I don't hear you. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing today. Do you today. have your mic enabled? I didn't even accept the knock. Um, Keck W. Gonna, gonna. Yeah, we're gonna figure this out. I didn't even accept the knock. Wait, what? What do you mean you didn't accept the knock?
Want to do it again? Okay. I don't know. What to, I don't know what just happened, but my brain hurt just doing that. Want to do it again? Fuck yeah. Okay, let me do it. Let me try again. <laughs> Knock. You already knocked. Okay, it says already knocked. Oh heck! Can't do it again. Heck. Well, uh, well, this has been fun, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Rip then. Okay. God, you don't know how Bye. bad it was for me to hear things. I was hearing myself, and then hearing you, and then hearing me, and then hearing you again. <laughs> Rest in peace. Okay, I guess this knock ain't, ain't happening. I don't know how any we'll of this later. works. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, any distract, honestly, any distraction from Fukuyama, I need that right now. <laughs> okay, bye, Akira. I can't hear you anymore. Bye bye. Uh, that was what was fun. Uh, figuring out that the Twitch knock system... Okay, so Twitch added this feature, which is, like, nice in theory. Where you can knock on people's streams while they're live and while you're live. And you can ask to collaborate, just, like, off the cuff in real time. And basically, like, it uses your browser to, like, take your webcam and take your microphone and kind of just, like live transmit all of your stuff over to OBS on their side and it's cool in theory but it's like the two things that are just annoying streamers about it is like one you can't really turn it off you can only like limit the set of people that can knock so it's like what if you want a certain set of people but also you want to just not be uh, knockable at some at certain streams you can't do that and then the other thing is like, if you're a if you're a VTuber, and the browser just like without warning warning suddenly turns on your webcam, that's a big no no. <laughs> that's a big no no. But uh, thankfully, one the browser asked for permission because that's how browser webcam APIs work. And two, like, I don't use webcam for VTubing. I use iPhones like IR scanning whatever. So uh, you know. Fun. Uh, every time I stream, IR beams are being blasted right to my face. So I'm I'm sure that's good for my 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 eyesight in the long term. I'm sure. And two, like there's no webcam for the browser to to, to get. So we'll try again another day. If only I knew it was time limited. Sag. Oh well. But, uh, back to our regularly scheduled programming, everybody. Uh, we're in the middle of this coffee shop, and this school teacher is making a fuss because he feels guilty for what happened to one of his students. And it's, like, not his fault. And I can't tell if he's actually guilty feeling or if he's just, like, guilty of a crime at this point. Is there any way I can help? I'm strong. I doubt that. And my skills with the Naginata can't be that rusty. We're not going to fight anybody. They're in a coffee shop and I can't knock. Ah, I'm so sorry, Akira. If I had if I had known what this was about ahead of time. Huh? It's like when I get a call. And it's just like, I don't know who's calling me. Even, or maybe I do know who's calling me, but I'm like, I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> I'm scared. And I just, I just like let it ring once to see if they'll call back. And then they do. I'm like, damn it. Now I have to answer it. That's been happening recently because I've been ordering a lot of stuff from AliExpress. And for some reason, whatever delivery company they're using, like, just the delivery drivers just refuse to read the delivery instructions. And they don't know how to get into my building. I put the instructions right there for a reason. Just just follow the put in the code. Just put in the code and you can get it. You don't have to call me. Damn. And, you know, I read a lot of mystery novels. <laughs> then again, the culprit is never who I expect. Am I not good enough to help? You have school. Your students need you more than this investigation. You're right. This is unacceptable. I guess there's nothing I can do. You've provided us with a lot of information so far. You've helped us a lot. 
Okay, but it looks like I'm out of ways to help for now. Sorry, Tachibana. Yes, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to leave now. I understand his feelings, but he does have students to take care of. Yeah, what about all the other ones? Besides Megumi. I just want to help Megumi. She's suffering. I don't care what it takes. I want to help Megumi. For Eisuke's sake, too. But what can I possibly do? Um... I'm sorry that I don't have any more information right now. I don't even know if you had any information. I'm thinking. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. I don't know what to do. Megumi was at the pumping station, cold, shivering, scared. They, they keep calling it the pump station, but I'm like, what are they pumping? Oil? Gas? Water? She believed in the urban legend. She even thought she knew a spell that would help. She's so innocent. I wish I could get her carefree smile to return. I don't think I have any more information. Oh, wait. Maybe I do. Huh? It's probably not much. Just the thing Megumi said at the police station. See, she talked about urban legends and the paranormal pretty often. Yeah! She even lent me some magazines about this stuff. I haven't returned them yet, but... Huh? You... you she lent you things? Like, did you, you were actually, like, close enough to talk and, like, borrow things from each other? Maybe, maybe there's a reason for her having a crush on him. I thought it was just like, oh, she, he's the teacher, she just has a crush. Like, did they actually, like, talk? Like, outside of school? Urban Legends. Live your life, sir. You know you're being responsible, but you're being really dramatic about this. A little bit. Almost a b this is the kind- the Famicom Detective Club is the kind of game where I'm just like, not completely sure how seriously to take it. And I'm just like, do I- do, do I- do I see his over-the-top nature as suspicious? Do I see it as just like, oh, it's just another haha -ha character? I mean, that's kind of the strength of like, Ace Attorney, right? Sometimes the silliest characters have the most tragic backstories. You know. Like a, a silly little art student that uh, would eat a bottle of poison for, for his for his girlfriend. And then he becomes a lawyer. <laughs> Do you enjoy Urban Legends? Yeah. I want you to listen to me very carefully, Tachibana. I'm a realist. I don't believe in ghosts. And I am not interested in those kinds of stories. That is a little suspiciously specific denial. Oh. I do believe in alien life, though. Somewhere in the infinity of the universe, they absolutely exist. Okay, look. <laughs> Funnily enough, the first class I ever took in college, uh, of many, but like, the first class I attended, morning of the day, uh, was uh, a class about search for extraterrestrial intelligence. And I've talked about this on stream, and all I'll summarize is that, like, there's a reason they specifically say extraterrestrial intelligence. Because, yeah, in the infinity of the universe, there has to be alien life somewhere. Will they ever be close enough to us to communicate? Will they ever exist at the same time as us? Will they ever want to talk to us? These are questions that may never get answered. So, uh, just because the universe is infinite doesn't mean... Remember, infinite universe and also infinite time. There will probably have been or will be extraterrestrial life that is intelligent enough to talk to us. Are they there right now? Or are they just like waiting a couple trillion years until they exist? That we don't know. Sadly. What about you, Tachibana? What do you think? I honestly don't know. I guess it's not really what we're here to discuss, is it? Uh, more urban legends? Funny how we call them urban legends nowadays instead of superstitions like we used to. Uh-huh. I'm sipping tea. Sip, sip. 
Neil deGrasse Tyson says something along those lines. Yee. I respect that man's intelligence, but sometimes I see, like, videos of him, like, podcasting, and, like, he has a right to be confident in the things he's talking about. Sometimes he's a little, sometimes he's a little, like, crass about it. I don't blame him, though. He's a nerd. Us nerds can be like that. Let's see. Not, maybe not crass. I think the word I'm looking for is, like, blunt. Anything else you can talk about? Your depressive funk? So, uh, so you have no interest in urban legends of any kind? None at all. I never even heard of the Smiling Man story, if not for Megumi. Do you know much about the Smiling Man? Emio. Yes. Then why don't you tell me about it? Okay, sure. Smiling Man always appears in front of a crying girl with a paper bag on his head. Then he says, You don't have to cry anymore. And then he kills her. The child. We have to be careful that we're only talking about the urban legend and not the actual murder cases from 18 years ago. Because if we leak the information about the paper bags with the smiley faces, like... Even if Fukuyama's not anybody to worry about, he might leak it to somebody else and then just like the public knows about it. And the smiling man puts a paper bag just like his own over her head and walks away. Okay, so she hasn't said anything about the smiling face on the bag. With that bag on her in place, the girl will have a smile on her face forever. Okay, well now they know. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess Tsubasa knows because of Ace Case Case. She'll never cry again. Oh. Uh, Sprint says, the way you see, uh, Neil and Bill Nye is thusly. They spent their entire lives trying to educate the world, spread knowledge, the polite, friendly way, and anti intellectualism went out instead. True, though. True, though. I mean, I see these clips out of context, so, like, sometimes I don't know why he's being, like, so blunt about these things, but maybe it is because somebody's trying to challenge him, and he's just like, no, that's, that, that, shutting down, shutting down any opposition being, like, Oh, the world, maybe the maybe the world's a little flat. Like, no, no, no. Fukuyama seems so unsure of his feelings. This guy looks like he's the type to overthink this stuff. Probably. Yeah, I, I think Ayumi was being mostly careful about how she said that. I didn't know what Megumi thought she was doing. I can't believe the smiley man really showed up. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I thought I knew how these visual novels worked. Uh, I, I feel like this part of the game is being a little extra obtuse. I'm like, I'm just trying to have a conversation. Why do I need to like jump between every topic? Such a horrific story, and that—that's who showed up in front of Megumi. Someone that dangerous. That's what she said. Then that means she was saved just in time, right? Maybe. Whoever was there ran away at the sign of someone rushing to the scene, though. Huh? Wasn't he the first one to rush over? So the smiling man shows up in front of a crying girl. That's what the urban legend says. A crying girl. Like, I won't discount the possibility that maybe he was the smiling man, and then he heard people coming. So he ran away, and then he took off the bag on his head and ran back so it looked like he was the first one to arrive. And he would be the first one to arrive because he was there. He was just there, if that is the case. Uh... Can we can we be done talking? You know, I was interested in what was happening with Ayumi and and, and potentially being kidnapped and hoping she's okay. And it's just like, oh, it's just it's Fukuyama again. Of course, Megumi was crying when I found her. Megumi said Aisuke was killed by the smiling man. 
But in the urban legend, you told me the smiling man only appears in front of girls. Well, I don't think I specifically said it that way. The serial killings from before were only girls. But I pretty much just said, the legend says he shows up in front of a girl. And Aisuke's a boy. I don't understand. Uh, uh, don't, uh, stop the autoplay. Stop it. Stop it. Jeez. When did that happen? Oh, uh, me either. There are a lot of conflicting theories about the Smiling Man. I didn't even know the one about the spell. Maybe there's a version where the Smiling Man only shows up in front of boys. It's only an urban legend after all. Huh. Maybe the smiling man doesn't pick and choose. Could be coincidence. We can't say for sure. So the smiling man is really just a killer wearing a paper bag with a smiley face painted on it. Yes! A smile on a paper bag, huh? Wait a sec. Huh? What about it? A smile on a paper bag. Yes, tell me more! Please? Uh... Is there something he noticed that he hasn't mentioned? Akira Doche! Akira, th sorry for the, sorry for the not accepting the knock. I wanted to like find out what that was about by listening to your stream first, and by the time by the time I f I, I figured out what you were doing, like it, the 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 request just timed out, and I didn't I didn't know you could just you just do it again. Well, I didn't know you couldn't do it again. Rather. So, uh, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time. Because, like, so far, the only people that have knocked on my stream have done it accidentally. So I wasn't sure if that was an accident or not. But, uh, next time. Yeah. Next time we'll be at the coffee shop. We're still at the coffee shop, by the way. Since, like, you knocked on my stream. Uh, yes, we're talking to this school teacher, and he's, like, one of our only leads for uh, a murder that happened. And, uh, he's being very sus. Uh, basically, he's like the, the that one, uh, he's, he's, he's like that one villain from Ace Attorney 5 where it's like, he doesn't know how to emote, so he just go, emotes over the top, is what I'm thinking might be happening. Or he could actually just be depressed and super dramatic. <laughs> I don't know. Akira's just like that sometimes. True though. Hey, Akira, when are we going to play VR chat? I got my full body tracking ready to go. I even got a, I even got a, a, a new model I found on like... One of those Japanese like model stores. It's of a, a little chicken with a with a with a beret. Pretty cool. Let's go. He kind of sexy though. Well, apparently his students thought so too, and it was just this very awkward situation where one of his one of his students was like, "Meet me on the roof. I'm gonna confess my love to you." And I, he's just like, I "I'm sorry. Uh, I'm an adult. Uh, this is wrong. Uh, I'm going to leave now." Jeez, jeez. That's so. Damn, when you're the teacher in that situation, like, you have to, like, carefully diffuse that or else, like, people will start talking about you and think you're, like, weird. And, I just, and you're just like, I didn't choose this. Hey, what's going on? Jesus. It's just really weird. Is there something he noticed that he hasn't mentioned? Now, that being said, uh, we are not the student. We are uh, someone who actually went to school with him when we were both in middle school back in the day. And now, this my character over here, Ayumi Tachibana, who had a trophy in Super Smash Brothers, is uh, an adult working for a detective agency. I'm thinking. I would like to ask you more questions. I feel like I've heard about this somewhere. Okay, elaborate. Okay, elaborate, please. A smile on a paper bag. Okay, sure. Megumi said she saw a figure wearing a paper bag with a smiling face. Wait, Tachibana. I think I remember something that might be very important. Also, Sanix, welcome on in. Everybody, everybody, thanks for the raid and, uh... Yeah, how was the stream? So, Akira, what were you, what were you doing? Were you, like, just knocking on everybody's stream and seeing who would, uh, who would answer? Really? Yeah, give me a second to think about it. You've had seconds, sir. You got it! Huh. Uh. Uh. 
Yes, I remember. Tachibana. Oh? When I was at the police station, I saw the paper bag that the detective showed Megumi. Yes, okay. Right, he was there. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, sure, I was there too. What information does this tell me? Oh my god, this guy is no use. He's no use. It's no use! Aki was doing a lockdown protocol collab. Wanted to end stream with Nox and people kind of choose to go to which streamer they thought was cool. People who can't decide, follow the raid. Oh, that's a cool way to do it. Oh, man. I'll, now I'll be on the lookout for that because it's like, man, I guess that is a that is that is a cool concept. Like now that we can do that, I feel like the culture. I don't know, I, Twitch has been adding a lot of features lately that people have not been super jazzed about. And part of me is like, you know, some of these are technically cool. It's just that they're not presenting them in a good way and like not fixing the issues that people want fixed like better safety features and whatnot. So it's like people are going to reject these new features even if they're actually kind of cool. So, you know what? You know what? I feel like with a little better advertising and uh showing off how it works, I think people will eventually accept Knox. It's just it just did not release in a good state with a good explanation of how it works. His eyebrows are sus. You don't trust those fuzz bars. Those eyebrows. Blade, enjoy the lurk. All right, uh, there is a forced ad starting soon, so I'm going to see how much dialogue I can get through soon. <laughs> the bag in your story about the smiling man just now reminded me of something. I heard a story a long time ago about a paper bag with a smiley face on it. A story? <laughs> really? Uh, ah, jeez, another raid. Didn't help the guy who pitched it was kind of an ass about it. Uh Incoming gaming buddies. Zero counts. Okay, zero counts. I, I'm very sorry. Uh, there's an ad. I have snoozed the maximum amount of times. It's at, it's starting in 40 seconds. So thank you everybody for the raid. Welcome on in. If anybody doesn't know me, I'm a chicken. I like to play visual novels and RPGs. I like to do the voices. Uh, for now, we're playing Emmy of the Smiling Man. It's a cool game that's a sequel to the Famicom, the, the Famicom Detective Close series that got remastered a couple years ago on the Nintendo Switch. It's a really cool series. If you like Ace Attorney, I suggest it. Uh, everybody, welcome on in. Raccoon Dog, welcome on in. Zero Counts, welcome on in. Uh, we are running out of time. There are 18 seconds left. If y'all don't follow Zero Counts, go ahead and give them a follow, as well as following Akira Dolce, who just raided right before this. Uh, 10 seconds until the ad. I am so sorry. Uh, we're going to have to take a break. I'm going to put the ad on. Uh, I'm going to put the clip show on. Uh, grab a drink. Grab a snack. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, still at the coffee shop. Still talking to Basachi. Why? Because he has the tiniest bit of information for us. The paper bag story. It does feel like the only solid lead of anything we've gotten this whole stream is talking about the paper bags themselves. Besides that, we know really nothing about the murders from 18 years ago other than who the victims were and and like they also had paper bags. So for it does feel like we've been grasping at straws this entire game, but I feel like there's going to be like one thing, like one thing that ties it all together. Was it an unfortunate smoothie? Uh, it was pretty fortunate. There was berries, so I guess it restored my health. When my dad was in college, there was a memorial service at my grandma's house. While he was there, he heard a story over drinks about a paper bag with a smiley face painted on it. Oh? The story was about an incident. Maybe it was an accident that was part of the local folklore. Yeah, it is kind of local. The thing is, I don't think the story was about a killer wearing a paper bag. Huh? I remember my dad describing it as a sad story. However, he was talking about a half-remembered thing from decades earlier that he heard when he was drunk. Okay, that's all pretty random. But decades earlier, it's only like 18 years old. And this story was from a couple of years ago, you said? I'm sorry it wasn't the information you were hoping for, Yumi. I mean... Maybe it's something we could look into. I don't know. It's the first thing we've heard that was like new. 
Also, thanks for the follow. We have anonymous follows here. Not at all. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's a sad story about a paper bag with a smile on it. Okay, why doesn't have? Why does it not have a frown on it? If that's the original story behind the smiling man, it must be a very old urban legend. The timing is such that the story would have to be around 30 years old at least. That's what I was wondering. Because this that that makes it sound like it's older than even the smiling man. So maybe the smiling man was inspired by this urban legend? So maybe the case from 18 years ago isn't the source of the smiling man legend. Huh. I'm thinking. If the story is the origin of the smiling man, I should find out what part of the country it's from. Then we can go there. Where does your father's family live? Irumo village in the Sanin region. I've never been. It's too far away. Was that the village that Chris Adobo detective went to? I forgot what it was called. Or is that the village where... Is that the village where uh, Utsugi is right now? We saw him go somewhere and then he hasn't... We haven't really talked to him since. I should let Mr. Utsugi know about this. Fukuyama, I think you might have really helped us with this. Really? You think I may have helped toward solving Eisuke's case? Yes! No, oh, that's wonderful news. Also, welcome on in, Squidgy. Missing half the stream? Tis, tis. You're gonna have to make up for that in community service. You're gonna have to tend to the chicken coop, clean out all the eggs. Thank you! I'm going back to the office to let the others know what you just told me. Uh, I will... Talk some more. Unfortunately, that's all my dad told me. Sorry, Tachibana. That's nothing to apologize for. Okay. I will drink one more sip of my tea. The check. Oh, hey! Wait, oh, was that just like another way to leave? <laughs> Apparently. Egg. Listen, seriously, about the check. Now, now, you were once my underclassman, and I am... My senpai. That's right. And that's that. Well, thank you, senpai. No need to thank me, Tachibana. It's the way the world should be. Shall we go to the station? Okay. Still don't know why. what's with the, with the mask and the tracksuit. Why did you run away? Why did you run away? Oh, look, this is where I was. Why did you run away when you when I when you noticed me? I need to take off now. Okay, take care of yourself. I'm sorry about today. Hey, don't worry. You gave me a very promising lead. Well then, I'm glad I could be of service to you, Tachibana. Next time we're together, I'll order us the Chiramisu set. Yes. Or maybe the Miyafiyu. What is that? The Mile Fuile? The Mile Fuile? The Mi Fui. I always have such time, hard time deciding. I have a hard time pronouncing. Although the Tiramisu always seems to win, even only, if only by the narrowest of margins. Or maybe we'll do both if you want. That'd be great. Uh, I had that problem with a lot of restaurants. Like, Sometimes one item on the menu is so good that I want to get it every time. But then, like, there's other stuff in the menu that looks good, too. And I'm like, I want to try it. But it feels weird to not order the thing that I know is really, really good. Oh, by the way. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? Okay, we're not going on dates. We're trying to solve a mystery. Meal fue. Thousand leaves. Uh -huh. Nothing yet, but... Ah, I don't know why I didn't expect that to happen. I knew this has been happening. He needs to stop. He needs to stop right now. There's a student in my class who'd be interested in talking to you. I imagine you've heard his name by now. Oh, oh he's the other... He's the other... I think he's the other... He's the other student that had a crush on Megumi. Kohei, he was close to Aisken. He wants to help solve the case. 
Oh, I've been hoping to hear more about Kohei. What do you think? I could set up at a time for the two of you to meet. Uh, oh, <laughs> look, it's me. Just like hanging out in the corner. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Light. Losing my patience. <laughs> oh, he's a little jelly. Understood. Can you come to the school at lunchtime? Being like, I mean, to be fair, he is standing really close to Ayumi. I can, yes, thank you. Okay. Good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Yes, see you then. Oh, look, there's the guy who's like annoyed and working over there. It's not what it looks like. I wonder why he's in such a hurry. Where's he running off to? Ayumi! Hmm? I like that store named Piosk. Like a kiosk, but it's a Piosk. Huh? Oh! What are you doing here? I was trying to get some information. But hey, wasn't that... Fukuyama, yeah. We bumped into one another and talked for a while. He seems like, uh, you know, a, a cool guy. You think so? Huh. Anyway, I got some really interesting info from him. What is it? Well, it's an S-E-C-R-E-T. Oh, come on. You can't just keep spelling it out like that when you localize it's a secret. Please don't do that to me. Come on, let's go back to the office. Well, I'm glad that Ayumi's okay after all said and done. Wait a minute. But dang, she had me worried for a second. Utsugi Detective Agency. I wonder what the kanji for Tante looks like. I wonder what... What words on that window were Tante. I didn't make it to Megumi's house because I ran into Fukuyama and took the time to question him. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <sighs> He's always been so serious, always giving everything his best. Even today. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How you doing on this fine day? Did you finish Separate Ways, Ori? Or you have to tell me. First of all, did you play the original Ori 4? And two, what? how far did you get in Separate Ways? Because uh, I definitely had some thoughts about Separate Ways when I played the remake version of it. I'm like, oh, it makes sense. Got past chapter four. I forget which chapter that was. But uh, you're gonna have to remind me. Is that before or after uh, the village? Or maybe the island? Guess you're midway through? I don't remember. I don't remember how many chapters it was. I remember it being kind of short, actually. Because remember, between every chapter, like Ada just happens to teleport to the next location. The raid that never fades. Thanks for uh, coming on by, y'all. Origination, owner of the candy tournament bracket. Uh-huh, 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 of course. The chocolate bracket was today. I can't believe. Hey, question for the chat. Question for the chat. Would you rather have a Mr. Good Bar, or would you rather have a Hershey's Kiss? I mean, like, I I thought I thought the answer would be obvious, because they're both Hershey's chocolate, right? And I guess if you're from a foreign country, you may not know American chocolate. One, American chocolate sucks. But two, like, they're the same chocolate, it's just that one of them has nuts in it. So you'd think the one with nuts would win, right? <laughs> right? Castle still. Oh, I think I know what chapter that is for separate ways. Yeah. Well, oh, but, hmm. Like the beginning of the castle, or did you finish the castle? What's a Mr. Good Bar? You know what? Oh, I, I don't know if it's in Canada. I'm assuming it is. When you go trick-or-treating and then you get the little tiny Hershey's chocolates that are just like the individual bars, uh, the individual like nuggets instead of like the whole, the whole bar. And like, 
There's like the crackles, which are just like Hershey's version of right of the of the crunch bars. And there's Mr. Good Bar, which is just like a Hershey chocolate bar with the peanuts in it. And it's rare to find it as a whole bar, but it does exist. But usually you get it in those little variety packs that come with like all the other Hershey's chocolate that you can't get normally. Don't really like chocolate in general. I like chocolate when it's baked into stuff. And I like chocolate when it has hazelnut flavor because I love hazelnut. Uh, but just American chocolate bars by themselves are just not, they're not good. They're just like sugar and fake cacao. It's not even real chocolate. Uh, I like high quality chocolate bars from like Japan. I like uh, going to like those Japanese markets and getting like those Dars bars and whatnot. Those are good. Midway through the castle. I see Ori. Then I'll hold my tongue, but I hope you're having fun. Uh, you played RE5, RE Vig, uh, uh, original RE4, RE4 Remake, now separate ways. Never played the original separate ways. Yeah, I mean, you didn't miss much. Because uh, you can already kind of tell that they're taking stuff that was kind of kind of cut from the RE4 remake and put it in separate ways. And then you're just like, oh yeah, that makes sense to do. Because original separate ways was kind of honestly a little plain. Like there wasn't much point to it. It's just like showing what Ada was doing in between Leon's chapters. So, you know, you don't need to know about it. Because you know, you know what she was doing. She was just going over to help Leon. But uh, they, they kind of mix it up with the remake one. It's kind of cool. Don't have Mr. Good Bars? I see. It's pretty rare in the US even, but that would explain it. But uh, yeah, uh, welcome on in Ori and hope everybody had a good time with the uh, Resident Evils. Ori, do you have any plans for uh, a future game for the Spoops for October? Um, I, I, I know you streamed it last year, but I was wondering if you'd give World of Horror a try again. Because when you streamed it, it was unfortunate because you there was a bug in the tutorial and it chose the wrong story and it was like a story that was harder to get into for a beginning and it made me a little sad that your first experience was tainted like that. So I think you could give it another shot because now the tutorial should be the right story and like it's a lot easier to get into the game and it's a, it's a cool it's a cool game. And also the game like finally came out of early access after you streamed it. So, now it would be a good time to, like, finally play it for real. Tonky Donk's been playing it? Heck yeah. Maybe Tonky Donk, maybe Tonky Donk can, like, do a little guest stream and, like, be right off the camera and, or, well, you do VTubing anyway. Oh, well, you've been doing camera lately, though. Uh, could be just, like, just off camera and, like, give you tips. And that'd be cool. Because then Tonky could just, like, advise you and give you, like, advice. That That is what advising means. And, like, uh, give you little pointers. Because what happens a lot is if somebody doesn't have somebody to, like, go over their shoulder and tell you how to play, World of Horror is a little daunting for a first-time player. But, like, it is worth it, I think. But it might appear on camera sometimes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's... I, I would ask if Tonky Don could make that happen, because that would be cool. It's been a while since y'all did a little co-stream, I'm just saying. Anyway, we're playing Famicom Detective Club. This is the part of the game where we review uh, what we learned so far. We're investigating a mystery of a child who was killed in a way that is similar to an urban legend. And we are starting to learn more about where that urban legend may have come from. And I think the next thing we're going to do is investigate the origins of it. And it's cool because it actually does help us find out what the motives behind the real killing are, even though we're investigating just rumors and stuff. But, uh, yeah, you know. Uh -huh. Oh? I know I shouldn't laugh, but it's just so funny. He hasn't changed since we were kids. She's talking about uh, her senpai, who has been helping with the case because he became a school teacher and is actually the teacher of not the kid who died, but some kids who were involved and they were close to the kid who died. He's always been a good guy, but... <laughs> I see. That's me! Chris Adobo. You said he gave you some good information. Yeah! It sounds like maybe the Smiling Man story originated in the Sanin region. What? 
Fukuyama's father heard a story when he was still a student. It's about a paper bag with a smiley face drawn on it. That means the story is a lot more than 18 years old. I don't know, this could give us a good lead. Yep. It's not the same as the smiley man story, but it sure is similar. Uh. Mr. Atsugi is looking into the smiling man's story, so I'm going to let him know about this. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'll do it right now. Mosh mosh. Why don't we save our cell phone battery and call from the office phone, just saying. Look, this is the 80s, or potentially the 90s. Cell phones... Only have like five minutes of call time, I swear. Mr. Tsugi, I have something urgent to tell you. There's an old story from Iroma Village in the Sunnen region that involves a paper bag with a smiley face. We still need to find out if it's connected to the smiling man, but... What? Okay. Yes. Yes. Really? Huh? That's amazing, Mr. Tsugi. Yes, I understand. Okay, bye. Mr. Utsugi is already in the Sanin region. I, yeah, because that's what he said, right? That's where he went? We saw him, like, very briefly. Oh, wow, he really is on top of things, huh? He didn't know which village he was looking for, so he was happy for the call. I'm sure Fukuyama will be happy to hear that he's lead proof fruitful. Huh. What's wrong? Uh, yeah. Nothing. It's just surprising to find an old story that connects to this modern urban legend. Well, you know, that's a rumor spread. Word of mouth. Like stories from the primeval days of early man. I don't know if how it all fits together, but I'm positive we're one step closer to solving this mystery. Well, let's let Mr. Utsugi work the investigation. And we can focus on reviewing our notes from today. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let me save real quick. I, I may have locked this save file for no particular reason. Not because there's a cute policewoman on here. Just I'm just I'm just saying I don't want to forget where I came from. <laughs> wow, it has been over a month. Look at that. Look at that save file. It has been over a month since I streamed this game. I am so sorry, everybody. Damn, how did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. Oh, how about the sketch, actually? Who is this? This person is... This person is someone who disappeared 18 years ago. I got it from Inspector Kamada. It's an estimation of what he looked like now, based on an old photo. I mean, would you guess that this person is 43 years old from this picture? Honestly, with... Sometimes you just can't tell. Like, you look at people like Masahiro Sakurai, Hideo Kojima, and it's like, wow, they're 50 to 60 something. Can you tell? I can't. Isaac, what's up? How's it going? Welcome on in. How was the Final Fantasy? Critically acclaimed. Jalen T, welcome on in. We're playing Emio. We're reviewing what we know. I'm I am streaming. That is what uh, notifications for streaming are for. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's all. That's all we get. All right. Let's review. They don't show up? Well, damn. Why are you asking me about Fukuyama? I thought we were going to review our notes. Oh, you know. Maybe he's just a little jelly. Oh, I don't know. I just felt like it. Nantanaki. He's providing important information, but I don't really know what kind of guy he is. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell in Chris Adobo's voice. He's jealous. Well, Fukuyama is quirky, but he's really nice. He's very student-oriented. Maybe too much. But he's a straight shooter. Oh, so not like Daisuke. Because Daisuke can't shoot. A flea off of the... What, what's the phrase? He can't shoot an apple off someone's head. He can't shoot the side of a barn. I think you'd like him. You should talk to him if you ever get the chance. I'd like him too? 
So she. <laughs> Did you hear the dial? Did you hear the dialogue? Oh my god. He said, like, it's, so she likes him, but is it just like as an acquaintance or something more? Does she like like him? <laughs> well, then, it's time to start reviewing. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Iron Sharp is busy locked in. It happens. It happens. All right, let's review. So, 18 years ago, a man disappeared just as the serial girl murders began. Thank you. His name was Minoru Tsuzuki. He was often seen with Ayama Hashizume, the first victim. Minoru Tsuzuki's current age would be... 43. 43. Yonju Sansai. Yeah! I, I, I learned that! I learned that! That's, how you, that's how, you, how you say how many years somebody old is. You say the number, and then you say Sai. Wow, Duolingo works! Yes, 18 years ago, he would have been 25. Give you back 10k. I'm sorry, you redeemed it. Should have thought before clicking. I asked around the Kofuku station area about Suzuki, but I didn't learn anything. Well, he went missing 18 years ago, so that's understandable. While I was out there, I met and spoke with Detective Kamihara. I'm a little concerned about something. It's... What, what do you mean? What was the question? I'm just concerned? About something in general? What do you mean? I, I wasn't paying attention. What am I concerned about? Okay, okay, uh, I smell, I'm a little concerned about something. I mean, I'm concerned about the motorcycle. I'm concerned about, uh, Junko in general. Uh, I'm concerned about, uh, Basachi just, like, jump scaring people. Yeah. Gives back 20Ks. Well, that one's expensive on purpose. It's not expensive to actually spend points. It's expensive so people don't abuse it. The toss is expensive because it's a lot of things to toss. So, uh, no. I've got rules. What am I concerned about? I'm concerned about Ayumi. I'm concerned about everything. I'm concerned about life. I'm concerned about the paper bag. Uh, so I was talking to Daisuke. Am I concerned? What did, what did, what did I learn? What did I learn? Didn't share info about the motorcycle. Like this one. I'm, that's, you know, uh, it might be this. I'm concerned that Detective Kuze isn't, like, talking to other detectives. Like, is she investigating on her own? Is she withholding information? Like, when I talked to her one-on-one, -on -one, was she just, like, getting info to hide and not actually tell the police department? It is about the motorcycle. Ah. It's about the motorcycle. Uh, it's about the motorcycle. The motorcycle near the crime scene on the night of Aisuke's murder? I told Detective Kuze about it because I thought it'd be helpful. This isn't a horror game. On oh, wait, that's smiling. This is a horror game because uh, it's about urban legends that are spoopy. Welcome in, Origami. I gave the info to Kuze because I thought it'd be helpful, but Detective Kamihara hadn't heard about it. So information that could be relevant isn't getting shared. Do you think it just slipped her mind? That's what Detective Kamihara thinks, yeah. No, Detective Kuze is too good at her job to do that. I mean, Daisuke maybe, but not, not Kuze. Or maybe he just wasn't paying attention when she told him. Or forgot he, she told him. That sounds kind of unlikely. I mean, that sounds more unlikely to me. Yeah, you're right. I'll ask Detective Kuze about it when I get a chance. Anything else? 
Mm. When Detective Kuze was still in high school, she saw someone who looked familiar around Kofuku Station. That person seemed to be her brother, Makoto. Makoto Kuze. Kuze Makoto. Makoto Kuze. Detective Kuze's brother. If it was him, then he was still alive after his disappearance. After his disappearance. Whoever he was, he was wearing a mask, and he didn't seem to recognize her. I think it's natural to assume it's the wrong guy. Yeah, because it's like, how do you recognize him with like without recognizing his face? Like his face is covered. Like, th this is this is interesting because like there were studies from when the pandemic was around and people were wearing masks everywhere. There's like, there's a tendency when you see somebody with a mask face to like kind of fill in the blanks and assume what their face under the mask looks like. And uh, the study was specifically about like attractiveness. So it's like people seem more attractive when they're wearing masks. I think partially because the person's mind fills in the blank and partially because they fill in the blank with uh, something they think looks nice. But um, in general, like I think people fill in the blank with what they want to believe. So maybe she just thought she saw somebody. Maybe she just thought she saw somebody that she wanted to believe was her brother. But Detective Kuze apparently believes it was Makoto. She lives near Kofuku Station and looks for Makoto in her spare time. You thought I said crooked man. That is uh, very different. Oh, I see. Let's keep looking for more information around Kofuku City. I'm thinking I should start asking about Makoto, too. I agree. How are you going to go about it? I was thinking, I wonder if we can get a picture of Makoto. Oh, oh, maybe we get a picture of Makoto as a kid. And then we can ask the professional sketch artist to draw him what he would look like today. I feel like that's a little harder to do for a child, though. Like, for an adult, you basically just, like, look like you get older. For a child, like, you could just look completely different. If someone were to have one, it would be... I mean, it would be Junko, probably. Or maybe, uh... Who's it? Yoshie. Hey, this isn't fair. This could be, like, multiple answers. I mean, like, even if Junko had one, I feel like she wouldn't give it to me. So probably Yoshie is the answer. Oh, okay, cool. There's probably, like, three... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this is it's just awkward phrasing. Yoshie! Detective Kuze and Makoto's grandmother! Yes, good idea! Anyway, I'm glad to see you doing so well today. Here are a reliable senpai. I'm a senpai, too. Ha ha ha! Your support makes it possible. Thank you for everything. Really? Good. Together we can crack this case. Ayumi is a shining light. Can we just say... Hey, I, I know it's not related to the case, but there's something that's kind of bugging me. Why didn't you answer your phone? What's wrong? It seems like Inspector Kamada isn't feeling well. He seemed to be in pain the whole time I was talking to him today. Oh? That's worrisome. He downplayed it, but I'll ask him about it next time I see him. Now I'm curious, too. What are you going to do tomorrow, Ayumi? I'm going to Minami Daisan Junior High School. Kohei wants to talk to me. Kohei? Kohei Takeguchi. Fukuyama says to Kohei wants to help with ice his case. Oh, okay. It's good timing. I was going I was going to need to talk to Kohei at some point. That makes sense. I'm thinking. Uh, is it okay if I go instead? I mean, Kohei kind of requested her, but... You? Go to the school? I don't think it'll be a problem, but why? I, I don't... I, I think... I think Detective Adobo doesn't want Ayumi to go near Subasa again. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. 
It's just, uh... I just thought it'd be easier for Kohei to talk to a guy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And easier for uh, Ayumi to not talk to Tsubasa? You do? Okay. I'll let Fukuyama know it'll be you showing up. Thanks. That was an interesting... Okay. I wonder how that changes things. Huh. You seem interested in him, so it's good you'll get to finally meet Fukuyama properly. I'm looking forward to it. Good chance to see what he's like up close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he'll be up close. That's for sure. <laughs> he'll just... He'll, he'll be... He'll be so up close. He'll be so up close, he'll be like, Hey, what's up? Hi, how's it going? I need to talk to you about something. It's about one of my students. <laughs> hey, do you like milk tea? <laughs> Chapter 8. Brother and Sister. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm bracing. I'm bracing for it. I'm bracing for it. He's right there. He's standing there menacingly. Okay, okay. I was thinking of ending, but uh, I'm going to end as soon as I get control again and I can save. It was dark the other night, so I couldn't see how big the school actually is. All right. Prepare yourselves, everybody. Assume this is a multi-ending game. I don't think so. No, the the other Famicom Detective Clubs are fairly linear stories. I think there's no... There's, I don't think there's multiple endings to these. If there are, they're definitely not canon. Uh, this is not one of those visual novels where it's like... Oh my god, the spooky story. You, you, you choose wisely, choose your adventure. No, this is more like a story from start to finish, like uh, Ace Attorney. Huh. Is that... Hi. Hi. Hello. You're keeping your distance. You're not. You're not up close and personal, huh? Hello. You must be from the Utsugi Detective Agency. I am. Nice to meet you. My name is Chris Adobo. I was ready. I was ready. Hi. I'm Mr. Fukuyama. But I believe we met once before, didn't we? Why is he standing so close to me? Oh, good. You noticed it too. <laughs> Oh, good. You noticed it, too. Oh, you mean at the police station. Sorry, I was there, but I didn't get a chance to introduce myself. No worries. I mean, I didn't either. <laughs> Maybe he's into you. Apparently, he's into everybody. Okay, bud. I'd eight, bud. I'm a think. I'm kind of nervous. Maybe because he's standing unbelievably close to me. Stop. Just stop. I, I, I kind of like what they're doing with, like, the visual novel format. Like, this works well in visual novel when it's, like, first person. Because, like, yes. Yes, you can tell that on the screen he is standing closer than any other character usually stands. Why does he do this? This is the question we ask ourselves. He's just going to have to wait here until next week. Because, honestly, uh, I know, I know, it feels like I didn't get much done. When it comes to visual novel games, I try not to, uh, I, I just try not to go for too long, because I want to conserve my voice, and I want to just, like, take it easy. And I'm sad, I'm a little, I, I apologize that, you know, when people raid, and, like, I get off topic, I get off track, sometimes it goes a while without actually playing the game, but, you know, I think we need those little moments. Unlike other games where I can just, like, talk about whatever while I play, this one I kind of have to pick and choose whether I'm playing the game or not. <laughs> so I hope you all understand. But I think we got some good progress today. What was it, like, two chapters or just one chapter? We did something. We did something. Uh, the first Phoenix Wright game had first-person perspective as a quote on the back of the box. I like that. A pull quote. That's funny. Like, whoa, what a selling point. Like, okay, isn't, like, every visual novel like that? And also, Ace Attorney is only first person in the, in, in the investigation parts. It's not first person in the, in the courtroom. <laughs> yeah, you know. All right, okay, we're going to call it here for the night, y'all. 
we're gonna leave Basachi hanging over here. And, uh, yeah, you know? It's, uh, it's been good. We're gonna be playing this game more often, hopefully. But, uh, for now, for now, for now. Uh, next week, uh, no stream on Monday next week. Uh, it's, 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 it's no stream on Monday next week. Because it is, I, I have a doctor's appointment. I'm gonna be out of town. I still go to my doctor in my hometown. So, I'm not gonna be here. But, it's nothing serious. It's just my yearly checkup. I've been scheduling them close to the end of the year because it's like last year I'm like oh crap uh, I didn't use my my insurance uh, I might as well do that for my yearly checkup and then I had a problem because uh, I went so close to the end of the year that they billed me in January and my insurance changed in January and they had trouble and then they like sent me a bill even though it was supposed to be free and I'm like die it was a headache so now I'm like, I'm going to get my yearly checkup in October or November, and it will be less of a hassle, hopefully. Hopefully. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. No wonder the students fall for him. He just stands so close. Alright, alright. So, uh, we're gonna go. And also, I'll ask about whether or not I can get an allergy test, because, yeah, it is weird. I ate some more peanut butter, I'm like, I'm fine, so... I don't know if I'm allergic to anything. Anyway, uh, let's... Go ahead and end it for the night. What is Yakuza objective? Here, I'll give you a demo. Uh, Tsubasa, get away from my face. Well, it kind of sucks that it's behind all the other stuff, but the idea is you redeem it and it makes text show up on screen. And it gets refunded. Don't worry why it's so expensive. It's expensive so that people don't just like say whatever they want over my stream. But it does get refunded, and uh, if you use it to say no-no words, uh, you uh, will probably get banned from the stream, honestly. But uh, you know, just be, just be, just be smart about it. Just be, just, just make sure you don't say anything I wouldn't say. You know, you know. Yeah. You wasted 10k. That's what you get for clicking things without reading. That's how it is. I can't make exceptions. I mean, I can, but I'm not gonna. I'm not that kind of person. Do, 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 do. But anyway, uh, if you ever, uh, if you guess what this song is, you get to suggest what game I play next, by the way. You have to guess what game it's from and where it plays and what the song is called. But, uh, you know, you know, that's what I do a lot of every month. I didn't do it for a while because I was slacking on playing the last game. But uh, this is our spooky song for Halloween. That's the hint. It's a kind of a spooky song. Is it from a spooky game? I don't know. So early, yes. Actually getting sleep for once. Can you imagine? I also started on time for once. Can you imagine? All right, y'all. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. You just know a way to cheat? Cheat what? Cheat getting points for the channel? Uh, there's not really a way to cheat it. Uh, when you do gambling on the stream, that's that's a separate egg system. Know the song? I mean, you can try to use, like, Shazam or something. Unfortunately, it's a video game song, so it's not going to be in a copyright database. That's why that works. Because it's from a video game. Uh, but, you know. You know. Everybody, everybody, thanks for being here. If you... You lost your 20 eggs. All my apes gone, stolen. All right, everybody, we're gonna cut it for this for the day. Uh, I need to go to sleep. I need to go go to bed uh, for once. Get a full night's rest. I have been sleeping. I haven't been sleeping early. That's the problem. I've been waking up early every day this week, and I am tired. I've been going to the office every day, actually driving in. How did we ever do it? How did we ever do it before the pandemic? I swear. I enjoy working from home now, so, you know, it works for me, and it lets me sleep more. I like that, because I, I honestly was not getting a lot of sleep when I first started streaming. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Everybody, everybody, thank you for the raids, thank you for the, thank you for the, for the, for the views, thank you for all the support, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be playing more games next week, same games, we'll probably finish Echoes of Wisdom next week. 
We'll play more Smiling Man. We'll play more Dead Space. Assuming I have the time. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I'll see y'all next Wednesday. Uh, assuming that I don't... That I, I, I get back in time. So, uh, yeah. Everybody, everybody. You all know the deal for real. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitch to catch me live next time I play this or any other game. And yes, I do the outro every stream, just in case somebody's new. You never know. Uh, links are in the chat for all the social media. If you're coming along on the raid, copy one of these raid messages. And we'll see you on over there. If you're going to sleep, then I will let you do so. Have a good night, and stay clucky, y'all. Bye-bye. Okay, that is not... I don't have a... I don't have a zoomed-in chicken on this view. But what if? Ha-ha! <laughs>